It's a federal crime. You can't booby trap your house. What do you mean? Can you booby trap your house? Washington State. Booby traps are illegal. What? What the fuck? I thought this was fucking America. What the fuck? Yeah, what happened to being the land of the free? Oh my god. A booby trap may be defined as any concealed or camouflage device designed to cause bodily injury when triggered by any action of a person making contact with the device. This includes guns, ammunition, explosive devices, sharpened stakes, nail spikes, electrical devices, lines or wires with hooks attached, and devices for the production of toxic fumes and gases. What the fuck? It is prohibited in all circumstances to use a booby trap? Why? Can I make a moat with, like, sharks? What? Is there any state where you can booby trap? This is so fucked up. Yeah, I think you can still have a moat. What about acid? It doesn't mention acid. Okay, yeah, it's not a booby trap if it's manually activated, right? So if the entire first floor of your house has C4 stuffed in every, every crevice, and you see a mailman approach your front door, as long as you're, you press the button actively, it's, that's fine, right? No, that's still a booby trap. So what? Is it a booby trap if there's just a gun laying on your table and you press the trigger rather than picking it up? Because, what, what, what? Can I put a vat of acid underneath the lawn? Hmm. You can't own C4 without a license. Okay, any bomb, a fertilizer, whatever. Can you kill the mailman on the grounds of trespassing? I'm sure it's legal to kill mailmen. That's not true. A manually triggered IED is still a booby trap. Well, then anything is a booby trap. What the fuck? The difference is personally activated. The real, the real answer to this, the reason why booby traps are illegal, I think, is because of uh, firefighters or like anyone, right? The thing is, booby traps don't differentiate between legit targets and non-legit targets. If like, like if, if, if your house catches fire when you're out and firemen come in and blow the whole first floor, or whatever else, like, there's no, literally no, like, dis discerning that can be done, which makes them, yeah. Any emergency services, or, yeah. Catco versus Briny. Court case decided by the Iowa Supreme Court, in which two homeowners, Edward and Bertha Briny, were held liable for battery for injuries caused to a trespasser, who set off a spring gun, set as a man trap, in an abandoned house on the homeowner's property. The case, therefore, okay, Leaving aside the legal, how psychotic do you have to be to set up a spring gun in an abandoned house? What are you doing? What the fuck? Dude. The person was stealing things from the property. It had been robbed multiple times before, but it's ab abandoned. Shouldn't you move the stuff from your abandoned? Um, left vacant for the last 10 years. What are you stealing from here? Rotten wood? Termites? Katko and his friend Marvin McDonough had been to the premises and found several old bottles and fruit jars, which they stole. Copper? Copper wire? How much copper wire can there be in a farmhouse? Bottles and fruit jars. Okay. Want to rob a farmhouse to find out? Well, every time I've gone to a farmhouse that's been abandoned in a video game, there's like nothing there. To defend the house against further intruders and theft, Edward Briney mounted a 20-gauge spring-loaded shotgun in the farmhouse and rigged it to fire when the north bedroom door was opened. Bertha suggested aiming the gun downward to shoot towards an intruder's legs rather than cause a mortal injury. Edward Briney also covered the bedroom window with steel. Katko and McDonough entered the farmhouse again with the intent of stealing more bottles and fr dated fruit jars that Katko considered antiques. When Katko entered the bedroom, he tripped the trigger mechanism and the shotgun fired into his right leg at point-blank range. Much of Katko's legs, including part of the tibia, was blown away. Only by McDonough's assistance was Cat able to get out of the house. The gunshot wound was sufficiently severe to require hospitalization. Our Cat could remain for 40 days. The case stands for the proposition that, although a landowner has no duty to make his property safe for trespassers, he may not set deadly traps against them, holding that the law has always placed a higher value upon human safety than upon mere rights and property. There you go, guys. You have no duty to make your property safe for trespassers. So it's okay to make the first floor of your house just ridiculously unsafe. Like you can let all the, the you can like constantly dump like like uh, fucking alcohol everywhere and like the floorboards get all wet and moldy. 
and you can just walk around with like a big like bowl of tacks and you're just like oh, oh you know um yeah just like oh i fell the wires are loose now oh let me trip all these breakers grease the floor yeah just like what just doing some wacky cartoon shit um and then go upstairs and sleep soundly knowing that anyone who arrives downstairs will fucking die Oh yeah, sure. That's why I can absolutely snipe anyone on my property in most states. Well, the the point is is that if they're on your property and you're there, the trespassers are an implicit threat to your safety. So using lethal force against them is about protecting your life rather than your property. Like if you're in your house and somebody breaks in, in most parts of America, you can fucking blat blat them. But that's not because you're protecting your TV. That's because you're protecting you and your family. That doesn't work if it's a burglary. Four years after the case was decided, Edward Briney was asked if he would change anything about the situation. Briney replied, There's one thing I'd do different, though. I'd have aimed that gun a few feet higher. Peak American.